Could you please introduce yourself? <coughs> yes. First of all, thanks for giving me this opportunity mm -hmm. to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ravi Desai. I completed my graduation in the stream of BSc Chemistry okay. in 2020 with okay. 65 percentage. Okay. I am from uh, East Goa district. Okay. Out of all the DevOps tools, so how much do you rate in the in a scale of one to five? One to five. Uh, it means tools means uh, Maven. The Maven, Jenkins, Jenkins yes. technologies, yes. yes. Cloud part. Everything. Cloud part. Yes. How much do you rate in a scale of 1 to 5? What is that? 1 to 5. How much do you rate yourself in a scale of 1 to 5? 1 to 5. Uh, oh, yes, sir. 5, sir. 5 out of 5. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the difference, major difference hmm. between the um, EFS and uh, EBS? EFS means uh, this is one of a uh, we can remove that uh, files uh, like uh, we can store the data uh, temporarily. Temporarily in uh, what uh, EBS and EBS. EBS. Temporarily, uh, I mean, we can store not permanently. We can save it permanently, but uh, we can remove and uh, we can see in the another uh, system ones. Okay. Um, uh, without, uh, I mean, what we remove or detach. Detach, sir. Not so, uh, without detaching, can, uh, um, I'm uh, not able to atta uh, attach to any other system. Do I able to attach any other system without detaching from the one EC2 instance to, um, can I attach to other, other, other EC2 instance? No, sir. No. Is it possible? No, sir. Not possible. Okay. In EBS, no. this is not possible. In EFS, uh, we can share the files. Okay. Uh, share the files between uh, uh, different regions or only different availability zones? Only in different availability zones. So, uh, in which situation we use the um, EBS, in which situation we use the EFS? EBS, we can use that uh, uh, we need to, uh, if we need any files uh, to, I don't have that much. Uh, so, what kind of data we can store in S3 bucket? We can store as a, uh, uh, text files. Okay. Uh, and PDF. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, what kind of data it is? Like, is it a structure or unstructured, or what? What kind of data it is? A PDF and then the Excel uh, text files are. Uh, we cannot store the Excel uh, uh, files in uh, S3 buckets uh -huh. directly. We cannot store. We can store, but what I'm asking is, what kind of data it? The PDF, Word, we can store in the Excel yes, files. Yes, so, what kind of data it is? Like, if you go to the Word. database, it yes, is a structure. Yes, sir. We can and store the uh, data in uh, Word form. Text files. Correct. You are hundred percent correct. But yes. what kind of data it is? What type of data it is? Structure or structure or semi-structured data? Uh, in S3 bucket, what kind of data we can put it? A structured data. Structured data. One DVR. I mean, what about RDS? With we cannot. Which, uh, we cannot uh, store the data. Uh, structured data. Structured data. So what kind of? I am asking is what kind of data we can store in S3? So you can, we cannot store the structured data. Yes. What then? What kind of data we can store in S3? Uh, like it's uh, like a word, uh, we need to uh, store. Adi, when what name on taro? See, if you RDS on this structure, no, but I'm yes. Is the A type of data PDF and you know, word and you know, and the A type of data structure on the other than Ah, sir, structure so, that, 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 unstructured uh, data is uh, that I want. Adi, yes, sir. so we can only store the unstructured data. Uh, Secondly, S3, S3 packets. So, what is versioning? How S3 versioning is going to helpful for us? Yes, sir, versioning, uh, we can get backup of, if, uh, unfortunately, we deleted one file from S3. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we, we can highlight that uh, version uh, option. Then we can uh, see that uh, deleted data also. We can get back. Mm -hmm. Fine. What is the S3 lifecycle? Have we got a good S3 lifecycle? Yes, sir. So, how, what is that? What are the storage types we have in S3? S3 standard classes, uh, even classes, uh, S3 types. Storage classes, yes. yes. Uh, standard integ integration uh, storage mm -hmm. and glacial. Okay. And glacial deep archival. Fine, uh, fine. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, what is process and replication? Process and replication. replication. Yes, How do you. So, what are the platforms uh, to buy a domain? What are the platforms we have to buy a domain? Uh, route, uh, route 53. Uh, route 53, but uh, Route 53 we can buy. But what are the platforms we have to buy a domain? Who are the domain providers? AWS. Uh, domain providers, not cloud providers. Of course, AWS is one of the domain providers. Well, we can buy the domain from them. But what are the other? Usually don't buy domain from the 
head, uh, head of this, we buy some, something else. What are those? Could you please write something to create any resource? What I'm asking is, yes. write any resource, whatever you like, to create a, write something which is related to, uh, to create any instance or to, to create any AWS resource with the help of Terraform. Whatever you like, you can again write it, yes. but that should be in Terraform script. Okay. The resource AWS, if you want, if you, yes. you, you are able to create, create uh, uh, I mean, um, SA, if you want to create, you can create with the Terraform script. Yes. If you want to create EC2 instance, you create the with Terraform script. But please write something to create with the help of Terraform script. Either it is S3 or uh, load balancer or auto scaling, whatever it is. Yes. So write Terraform script to create something in the AWS. I will. I need to prepare. Fine. This much only. Oh, fine. That's okay. Uh, fine. Um, what are the components in VPC? <coughs> VPC uh, subnet. If you want to explain in the diagram, you can explain. No issues. Okay. I, I will uh, tell by through my. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we have components of uh, uh, subnet. First, we need VPC okay. and subnets, mm -hmm. route table, mm -hmm. and internet gateway. First comes the internet gateway or route table? First, internet gateway, sir. Okay. After Next. that, we need to connect with the route table. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, NAT gateway. You can use NAT gateway to connect uh, to instances with the private and public. NAT gateway? So, NAT gateway we use to connect to instances like public and private IP addresses. Okay. <coughs> to attach to. Okay. What is EIP? Elastic IP. Okay. Elastic what is the difference between public IP and elastic IP? Uh, elastic IP is uh, one of the permanent uh, permanent uh, IP address. Okay. Uh, it will come after whenever we connect with the NAT gateway. Then only we can create the NAT gateway. Then only we can oh. get EIP. EIP. So we need to register I mean allocate and then uh, dislocate like this. Like yes. Okay. Okay. Thing is, what is load balancer and an auto scaling? Oh, what are the things involved to create a load balancer? Components involved to create a load balancer. Yes, sir. Components involved to load balancer. We need uh, two instances. Mm -hmm. We need two instances for the uh, load balancer. Okay. We'll connect with the uh, two VPCs. Okay. How do you connect with the two VPCs? So, what are other components? What are the protocol of uh, load balancer? What is health check? Mm, health check. <coughs> it will check the entire uh, instance uh, whether it is good or uh, any mistakes. I mean errors. Okay. What is encryption and decryption? Uh, encryption. Uh, if, if we write our, uh, if we write in our uh, human language, mm -hmm. it will convert to uh, encrypted format like a. Uh, Computer understandable language. Computer uh, understandable language. If we decrypt that, it will convert to human language. Okay. Human understandable. Okay. What are the types of uh, uh, pipelines we have in Jenkins? Two pipelines, yes, sir. What are those? Declarative pipeline and uh, you can use declarative pipeline. So how can you identify the, whether it is declarative or whether it is uh, the scripted pipeline? Yes, sir. Uh, in declarative pipeline, we can start with the uh, pipelines. In a uh, scripted pipeline, come to Docker part. Yes. What are types of volumes we have? Please write some derivatives uh, to write a Docker file. What are the derivatives we have to write a Docker file? Yes, sir. <coughs> components, derivatives, components, both are same. Yes. First, we can start with from. Mm -hmm. Uh, we should uh, we should write with uh, only in capital letters. Yes. yes. From means uh, this is the one of the base image. Uh, from where? So we are, can I use from uh, anywhere in the middle of the Docker file, or it should be only in the first? It should be only in the first. Okay. Why? Uh, because uh, we need uh, this one first. Uh, okay. Uh, next uh, run. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, we, need, we are using this command to uh, with uh, any installations or any commands. To uh, install any application, okay. uh, if you write echo, uh, fine. Yeah, yeah, you can write from yeah. Yes, Next work work directory. Okay. Yes, sir. Work dir. Okay. What is work dir? Uh, we can uh, give one particular path, sir. 
if we write any uh, if we write any uh, data it will directly uh, go uh, goes through this uh, path it is stored in this path only. thing is or uh, if you log in directly it is going to take this yes sir directly it will go to the path okay right. now tell me the difference between uh, cmd and an entry point cmd yes, entry point cmd and entry point yes, uh, cmd if we write uh, multiple times tell CMD. me the difference between cmd and entry point forgot so last time we said that difference between the git reset and git reboot yes, sir git reset uh, uh, it unstages the uh, file commits uh, file stages and stages file stages and um, um, could you please repeat it once again git reset we can use mm -hmm. to uh, uh, unstage the file unstage the uh, files file mm -hmm. okay only that git or uh, it's going to take from which stage to which stage it's going to uh, unstage as uh, a git if we use git soft command mm -hmm. it will uh, move one step back okay uh, means uh, local repository to the staging area okay uh, if you use mixed it will directly uh, go to uh, starting area working area okay uh, if we if we use uh, git hard it will uh, comes back two steps back why we use jenkins what is jenkins and why we use that jenkins is one of the ci cd tools mm -hmm. uh, we can integrate you can integrate the uh, tool in jenkins through the pipeline mm -hmm. uh, we can automate uh, we can run the commands uh, automatically by using uh, this pipeline uh, we can uh, deploy the application yes. with the help of ccd pipeline google ram